Hey everybody, Sam here. And Angela, and welcome to our channel. So you're seeing us in a setting that is not very common, at least not for a while. We are in our woods, which is behind our home. We've got maybe like two to three acres worth of woods. And this is the setting for the majority of today's video. Today we are going to be gathering materials to start filling our giant raised beds.
Sam has already gotten a huge pile of soil, dirt, and leaves and bits and like that but we want something bigger <laughs> we want some logs and sticks and stuff like that that we can put in the very bottom of the beds to kind of compost over time we have a lot of old dead trees in the woods so we are going to cut up some of the smaller ones we're going to leave a lot for you know natural processes but we're going to take some of those and put them in the bottom of all the beds but first we have to kind of chunk them into smaller pieces and get them over to the garden. So I've got a tool here that I call a log roller, but I think it might be also be called a PV. It's a hook and a prop. We're going to hook it onto this tree, roll it over. It's going to pick it up and allow us to cut it into chunks with a chainsaw without sticking our chain in the ground. You guys are kind of wondering what I'm doing. I'm making my own grapple bucket. I'm using some of the limbs to extend the depth of the bucket so that we can put as much in this as possible. Sure, a grapple bucket would be a lot easier, but those things are expensive. And this is what I have, so this is what we're doing. We've moved over to this large dead tree that has fallen over. We're gonna work on gathering some medium-sized limbs now and load it in our bucket. So we're just kind of going around spot to spot, like Angel said earlier, taking a little bit from here, a little bit from there, and definitely leaving enough of an ecosystem here for insects and just nature itself to do its thing. Get out. 
You're fine. Shoot. I just stabbed my thumb with a chainsaw blade. It's cut pretty deep. Dang it. See? I don't think it stitches worthy. I gotta go take this up. Well, we decided to take a little impromptu break because somebody decided to stick his thumb in the chainsaw. Now don't, <laughs> that sounds terrible. It was off. I, I was holding it in one hand, I pulled a limb and I pulled it just down and into the chainsaw blade. I don't think it's bad enough to need stitches. We went on in the house, got out our first aid kits and everything we have on hand and I put some stereo strips on it after doing a wound wash and triple antibiotic ointment and then several layers of band-aids and strips and then some Coban wrap to keep me from moving my thumb and kind of tearing it back open because we got work to do and ain't nobody got time to stop and just sit around and cry over a cut thumb not on camera at least so hey let's get back to work So we are back out here in the woods. I have the tractor here. I have my gas powered chainsaw, my steel chainsaw, and I'm going to finish collecting a bunch of firewood. Hopefully finish collecting firewood for the raised beds. Um, this is the tree that we started cutting on yesterday with the battery powered craftsman saw. And that one did okay. It does fine for battery powered, but for this kind of work, really you can't beat a gas powered chainsaw, at least not in the realm of tools that I've got at least. So I'm going to finish taking as much as I can off of this one that's already down on the ground. And then if I got room in my bucket, I'll go on down. We'll find some other trees that have fallen. If not, we'll go dump it. Then we'll go find some more trees. But basically we're working on creating a bunch of logs, probably, you know, 12 to 16 inches in length to allow us to create our base layer in our raised beds. That'll be layer number one of our, I don't know, raised bed lasagna is logs. So got to find some. For those wondering, I am using a steel MS-170 chainsaw. This is not a big monster one by any means, but this has been a really good one for us for several years. It is perfect size for the amount of use we use for a chainsaw, and is one that's pretty affordable. At least, well, okay, it was when I bought it, but that's been several years back, and who knows what's happened at this point.
really a snake? Yes, I promise it's a snake. There's a snake in there. Ah! Where's Angela? <laughs> yeah, for real, it's a snake. It's like a garter. <laughs> it's all right let him go I'm sure he's scared to death anyway <laughs> so we had a little bit of an adventure there i cut that last slice on the tree and i saw something i thought oh gross it's like big old bugs because i was cutting out it's all like carpenter ants and stuff kind of crawling around the outside but once the separate log got out and we investigated what we thought was a snake it was not a snake but a salamander or small wood lizard of some sort. So the little guy was not harmed, thank goodness. And we held it for a little bit and it kind of jumped out of my hand as you guys saw and went back into the woods. But otherwise, this is what we're doing. Taking some from here, leaving a lot, taking some from there and just collecting things carefully throughout the woods. All right, what you guys saw there was honestly about four work days worth of work. And the reason I say work days is because we don't put in eight hours every day on a project. We've got things going on with homeschool and our business and just it doesn't allow us to do eight hour shifts. So that's why it takes us a little bit longer on things. Why videos are not like every day, every other day. Generally, if we're doing projects, it takes some time to do. Now what we have here, we hope will probably f like halfway fill half of our beds, which is four of them. Oh, actually, I hopefully it'll do all four beds. Hopefully okay. this will let us do four beds. I'm Well, we're I'm not, hopeful. okay. We're not hoping to fill it to the top with what we have here. This is gonna be probably halfway or a little bit more than halfway. And then we're gonna do good soil, compost mix type thing for the top growing portion. It's been a blessing having the woods and we know and understand that a lot of people don't have that but maybe you can pick up some from around the neighborhood. I've heard of friends doing that. Um, extra limbs and clippings and that type thing. Mm -hmm. But we were lucky to have the woods that we can get a lot of the rotten wood and some of the soil out of it and it not make a big hole in our yard <laughs> right so i also think if i say we had something like this and we were in a suburban area and we didn't have access to a lot honestly you could probably fill the bottom of this stuff with inorganic substances you could fill it with rocks concrete blocks gallon jugs milk jugs you could do that it's not going to be against the raised bed garden law it's just not as much of a hugel culture style mentality but it's no different than what we did was it two years ago with our blue barrels and our greenhouse, uh -huh. the self wicking containers? There's nothing saying you couldn't do that. So the goal with these is yes, to have planting area, but number one, the goal for this is to get it up high enough to where it's more comfortable to work with. Right. Your average vegetables and everything you're gonna grow, at most 14 inches of soil. So out of this 30 inch height, you only really need half of it. So here we are, what, two days after I cut my thumb with the chainsaw. Yeah. It's healing nicely. It was not a horrible bad cut, thank goodness. And like you guys saw, the chainsaw was off. It was just literally just a tap. It's the pros and cons of having a sharp chainsaw, I guess. But that was an interesting adventure. <laughs> Outside of that, I'm trying to remember what kind of fun we had. The boys loved it. Elijah loved it. Mm -hmm. Elijah was a heck of a hard worker. He's definitely reaching that age where it's almost like having two of me. I mean, his ability is a, a copy of you. <laughs> so. Pretty much. Yep. That's a good thing, though. 
So he really enjoyed it. He loved having the four-wheeler. As you guys maybe see a few clips there, if I remember to put them in, he would bring the four-wheeler and he would have the tools. He'd be hauling it around the trails, going back and forth, and it was a fun adventure for him, which is probably honestly what half of this is all about. I mean, yes, adventure. it's things we want to do, we want to do and all that, but it's also fun stuff for the boys. Enrichment experiences. There you go. Building of character. So this video has been all a, basically a suspense builder. I think we can all probably agree on that one. We've got the materials amassed. We have our literal mountain of dirt. We have our little tiny little pile of limbs <laughs> and then our logs. That means the next thing we're doing is leveling our raised beds, putting in some pest prevention measures. You guys give us some good ideas, so you'll be happy to see we do that. And then of course, building and putting together <laughs> the actual substance inside the raised beds. Our hugel culture we inspired. We won't have these empty caskets in the middle of the yard. <laughs> right. <laughs> these boxes with nothing in them. We'll fill it with dirt. Yay! <laughs> well, guys, thanks for coming along as we amass this mountain. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time on the homestead. See you guys. Bye. Are you going to San Francisco? I think I'll stay here. Be sure to put flowers in your hair. Do you know that song? No, I don't. Oh, oh. it's from the 60s. Uh-huh, you feel things crawling? It's just sweat. Oh, God. <laughs> it's a season of sweat. <laughs> I feel like the little Real. old lady off of the Tweety Bird show with like the flowers and... <laughs> I don't know that little old lady. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't stink. I don't know what the... You sound like the guy off the night of the museum. Which one? The curator, the main administrator no. guy. But am I not... If, if I'm not making myself clear... Just, I, whoa. <laughs> okay? Exactly. Right. I feel that way a lot, but I'm just not I British. I do too. <laughs> the American version of that guy. All oh, last year, these things, this shirt's soaked. You probably think I only have one gray shirt. I got like four and they're all well used.